tough loss for us. And I didn't play that much, but I still remember my teammates. You know, I was I was sad about it. A lot of my teammates were sad about it. And you know, it's always good to play a high caliber team like that at the beginning of the season. You know, it's gonna help us out. And uh, I'm definitely excited about that game. Um, seeing a game like that on the schedule is just that's an NCAA game. That's a that's a, a top notch NCAA game. So playing games like that throughout the season and with, the, with, with our schedule, other competition that we'll see, is just pre preparing us for the postseason ahead of us. So. Uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, I know Duke's a, a legendary team for a legendary coach, so I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good, good matchup, good game, good fans. Yeah, I'm also excited about it too. I mean, we've been working hard, playing against each other. I mean, it's kind of ready to get started and get better. Yeah, what do you expect the learning curve to be like this season? What do you expect the learning curve to be like this season? Or do you expect to just be able to go in and play up to your full potential right away? Is there a, a, a sense that it may, that you got to make the, the adjustment to, the, to this level again? Uh, I'm in the process of, make, uh, of making it now. You know, when I first came here, college basketball was way different than high school. Just the physicality of it, the, the mental part, it's, it's all just it's all just a different level. And I think Coach Self has prepared me uh, to be uh, who I am, the player I am on the court and off the court. You know, so I think I'm still in the learning process. I still got a lot to learn. I'm young, but hopefully Coach Self bring all up. Uh, just hanging out with the team, you know. I like I play video games a lot. Uh, listen to music, just trying to go into class, do schoolwork, do doing normal college too. What kind of music for Me, I prefer rap, some reggae sometimes. <laughs> no. Depends during the day. That's how you feel? Yeah. So what do you listen to like before? Do you listen before practice, after yeah. practice, down the line? Or? You say what I listen to? What? Like uh, before a game, like what would you listen to and then what would you listen to afterwards? Drake. Before a game. Not before a game, after game, some Drake. Uh, also maybe some J. Cole, Kendrick, Tory Badass. You get, get, get a chance to beat Drake though? I mean, being yeah. too big as a Yeah, we made each other. Talk to your brother about playing the Final Four and get his thoughts on that and playing big time college basketball. What were he, his thoughts and what advice did he give to you? He just said it was a great experience. It was nothing that no one could ever imagine. If you're not, if you haven't been there, you know nothing about it. It's just on, on another level. This, this, the arena you're in, everything is just crazy. How does that motivate you to help this team get to the Final Four after knowing he was there last year? I want to get it. I know being a competitor and on the team, I know all of them want to get it too. We want to get to that level. That's everyone. That's everyone's dream. No, he's Andrew in front of the media. Maybe maybe quiet. And um, what, what's he like in front of you guys? Is he does he tell jokes? Does he, you know, maybe do anything? That, is there a side that we don't get to see? Yeah, his his goofy side, clumsy side. Okay. <laughs> like it's, it's kind of funny to me because every time I see the dude, like no matter where we at a price, I just look at him, I just start laughing. I don't know why, but every time we look at each other, I just start laughing. I don't know what it is. Like one day. After practice, he's about to get into the shower. <laughs> my man, my man, <laughs> my man's about to get into the shower with his ankle braces on. He walks all the way to the, he walks all the way, I'm sorry, my man, I gotta put you up. He walks all the way, he walks all the way to the showers and comes back and we looking at him. He's like, I forgot my ankle braces. We said, yeah, we could see, bro, you did, but that's just who he is. He's just a laid back dude. You, like I said, you wouldn't even know that. He's the one playing the country if you haven't seen all the magazine because he doesn't try to show out. He just, he's just always himself all the time. I can skate. I, I tried, but it's not me. I can skate. <laughs> you skated it on? Nah, it's not my thing. I'm leaving to my man. Right? Not, not real popular in Memphis? Nah, not at all. Hey, I used to go to the skate. <laughs> Can the question, if you don't mind, there's a number of new players that have come there now from not just the big club, but around the country, too. For people who don't know, I think it's probably a surprise for a lot of people, but 
it seems like it makes sense when I understand about the development systems. Demons of A, you were working with too. How was it growing up to develop where you could be build players for success? Right. Canada basketball, how was that growing up to develop? Where is it now that you can explain why there's so many players who come in and make it Yeah, it can look the years. You know, there's always been a great in Canada, but now we're finally getting a chance to get exposed and show people the talent to this guy. Before they never did it. Focused in on Canadian basketball players until a couple years ago. I knew it was going to be exciting. I never, you know, I played with top national team stuff. So you entertained? Yeah, really? Beginning with? I'm not sure. I never heard of him. You think he could put together a good team? Who's on that team? He just named a bunch from right there. A lot of players, me. Uh, Corey, Henry Bennett, Tristan, Tyler Ennis, Xavier Tamez, Simbola, Stephon Jacobet, Monte Kelsey. There's a lot of players. You have to make a cut sooner or later, right? Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, is all this attention, I mean, is it what you expected? How much has it been what you expected or what's been different about it? what I expected right now. Do you get recognized around Lawrence quite a bit? The whole team does. The basketball in Lawrence is crazy. The fans are true and loyal fans. They'll recognize you wherever you are. You've probably been asked this a million times, but what would put it over the top for Kansas? Why'd you pick them? Uh, the team. I think really through the same team, the coaching staff. You guys are going to so much to what? Uh, uh, Oklahoma State. You know, your brother close. And I've been my way through this. So we said, Andrew, Andrew brother of Mitchell Dawson. Yeah. That, that was important when I became your brother, relative to me. Yeah, I love that attention to that. Andrew, it doesn't really matter to us. not going to be able to see it. You just got to go to school. on the court in some ways. Do you do you feel like your debut um, first when, when Marcus Smart decided to come back? So if you go how much did you guys talk about it? You know, as teammates and coach so it, it, talk about it there, at all uh, with you guys. I mean, when you, you see the SI yeah, cover and, and somebody, somebody makes a comparison, any kind of thing, things you know, close to being high on the heat, things you want to play, feels a lot of love. Even inside yourself to say that you know, man, they're expecting talk about it. Not really. Do you still, even though no. they bring back with that game, they bring back that first game as you know, guys, it's you and Terry, and then all these. <laughs> I don't know if I ever get Do you still that. feel like the hunting is right. because of? I just just continue to work hard. Yeah, I know the fans yeah, will be there. At the end of the day, whether they're there or not, the fans will be there. Do you think it's different? difference, you know, with people having expectations of you? Your your whole team is good. There's a lot of guys that can score. That's got to help you a lot. It does. It does. It takes weight off. Those two Everyone games last year were pretty, pretty special. We rely on a lot of people Close to games. score, a lot of people to rebound, uh, a lot of people to do different Will you talk about with the, with the freshman before you Are you surprised about how good there? some of these guys are when you got in? Wild atmosphere. Yeah, I'm definitely, uh, it was definitely exciting. Man. Yeah, it was. Everyone was good. There's no, there's no bad player in the team. Excitement when you play them, but it was. Can't plays off. I mean, the person they guard, they got us the first game. Good as you. Real disappointed. Were you nervous? Late night, you know, lost like that. I was. Yeah. Do those backflips? What do you think of the fans? Those sticking in the mind. Ten thousand fans show up for practice. What was kind of your reaction to the? I know. I remember. Travis said, and Travis said, is there any part of you that upset then. didn't want to do that Sports yeah. Illustrated cover just because of yeah, linking yeah. you to guys like Manning and Chamberlain? Don't forget that. Not that I can't do it, but Basketball-wise, just overall being at Kansas with your guys. Uh, just being part of something so special, like a family, because usually like, some teams, like, they always have that one El Cas or that one person that, you know, that no one really messes with. But on, on our team, like, everybody's like a family. And we all, like, go, one person goes somewhere, we all go somewhere. Like, we work as, like, a unit. Why Kansas? Uh, best place for me. Uh, I'm close to all the guys right now. Like I said, it's like a family. Uh, the coaching staff is great. I can, I can trust uh, my coach. And also, my brother lives in Washington State. That's always good to have family beside you. What's your brother's name? Nick Williams. When you hear the LeBron Durant comparison, I mean, what do you think about all that? Uh, I got a long way to go before I can be 
compared to LeBron and Durant. Those are the best players in the world right now, and I'm still in college. So I think it's really unfair to compare me to someone that caliber, you know. Hopefully one day I can be compared to them, but I think I still got a long way to go before I am. <laughs> We got a young team, and the chemistry is building up really quick. You know, the first couple of weeks of practice were hard for all the freshmen, but now, now everything is becoming easier. You know, we're fluent, so the potential there be the best team. This is a little bit, yeah, this is a little bit crazy. Yeah, we'll probably have practice. Yeah, we'll be 12. This is a big, was a big conference. The conference was a big conference. The conference was a big conference. What changes are you making? This is a little bit different. Do you feel any sort of, um, a couple of years ago, Kenny in Texas was like the big kind of rivalry. And now it's kind of becoming a yoga stage just because of, you know, what Kenny always is talking to say. Do you get that sense you guys are straight? They're talking to Coach Zell, hey, these guys are coming after us. I feel like everybody's going to come after us. Obviously, I don't fully understand it because I haven't played in it. But I play with a target on my back. You know, Memphis was always a target of conference, you know what I'm saying? And so coming here, I don't care you was the target in the conference. They control the tables for nine years now. And this year is definitely going to be a huge target because 10, nobody wants us to reach 10. Uh, and so, so what that type of stuff, though, do yeah. we don't we don't really speak on like that. We worry more about ourselves. Uh, we know the talent level we have in our locker room. If we work hard, if we become who we're supposed to be and reach our potential, then we'll be just fine. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter the competition, it's the competition. But we're the ones that have to become who we have to be because we don't play to others' levels. Well, why are you more like your mom? Personal opinion, I just I just fall in line with Coach Self once. Like that's one of the big as I keep saying, we all play for him because we trust him. We trust him hundred percent in his vision for the team and where he wants to go with it. And so our goals, the goals he sets for us are the goals we're gonna accomplish because I know he's not gonna set us any goals that, that he feels we can't accomplish or, or fall short of our potential. If anything, he's gonna set expectation higher than what than what it probably should be. But who knows what the expectation for so our potential is through the roof. But that's that's my take on it. Andrew, I was in the back, so I think if you want to so I apologize for asking the same questions you've already answered. What is it like? This media crowd, this media attention, have you gotten used to it yet? No, I have. Uh, it grew on me over the last couple of years. You know, I just take it as a blessing, a great opportunity to, to be showcased. You know, now Canadians are just starting to get really exposed to, to the, the scholars in the States and the national exam. How much do you talk to your brother I mean, when we Final Four last year, uh, just about having the cameras, but still being able to play basketball and be successful? Uh, I talk to my family every day. He just said that opportunity he had to go to the Final Four or something amazing. You know, a once in a lifetime experience, some people have never experienced it. So it was something crazy. He just said they worked hard. You know, they gave it their all. They played hard. No one thought they could do it, and they still ended up doing it. So that just shows the character. With a few weeks of practice.